I V M. The man Shantanu Moitra. When you hear this talk, it's going to completely blow you away. Blow you away from various aspects of first of all what your passion can take you through. He started as a banker, but now is the most celebrated uh, musician composer in India. He. is completely passionate about things he does whether it is soccer whether it is mountaineering whether it is trekking whether it is food his life hacks he's full of ideas full of energy but what's more important is he's completely connected to the ground he talks of people places and music as if it's just right there around him which shantanu one other thing which i really learned and i would like you to also kind of experience it is how sometimes all you have to do is follow where your heart is taking you and then let the universe do its work from his origins in delhi to what he's doing in mumbai from his jobs in advertising to making jingles to now uh, you know working on some of the most ambitious projects of restoring traditional music uh, shantru has done it all really looking forward to having him back on my show with all the exciting things in store hello friends uh, if by now you have not guessed the song i'm humming or my guest today you don't deserve to be living on earth because this is possibly one of the most amazing songs uh i love it and so do a lot of my friends and i am uh, really really uh, blessed happy and proud that the person who actually composed this song is one of my dearest friends so today you are going to be hearing from somebody who has been super accomplished in the world of music in the world of sports in the world of arts in the world of trekking in the world of football i mean just about he has interest in just about everything he's been a banker he's been an ad filmmaker uh, and now he's making some of the most amazing music uh, welcome to the show none other than shantanu shantanu moitra thank you vishal thanks a lot for inviting me and i just want to say that people who are listening to the show i don't blame them if they didn't get the tune because you sang it so badly so <laughs> very very few people who would so, actually so, recognize what it is <laughs> okay so yeah so so let's talk about bavra man that i was just telling you just some time back that this is one of those songs which every time i listen to i get goosebumps uh what is in this song what have you put in this so as i was uh, telling you that i wish i had known uh this was this happened at a time when knowledge was at its bare minimum uh, both for me and swanand who wrote the song uh, this was from a movie called hazara ko aise aise uh, and uh, didn't know anything just used to live in delhi that time and uh, so there's a there's a story around bavraman which i'll want to share with you and the audience this story is, breaks all the myths which usually people talk about what is required for something to work and something to be successful so this is a story about breaking all those cliches i didn't want to come to bombay i was happy as a middle class bengali playing football doing adda eating mache jhol <laughs> and sometimes doing music um, i had just done an album called apke savan this is with shubha mudgal with shubha mudgal uh, the song had was an instant hit which i didn't know because delhi is pretty much isolated from the art world at that time it was of course and even now delhi is kind uh-huh. of yeah more politics and other things than uh, bollywood and media and vishal it's amazing that um, one day um, i met javed akhtar saab on a flight and through a series of conversations he figured that i was the composer and he said up delhi mein kyun hai aap बम्बे में आई है ना सो आई सेड आई टोल एम दैट सर एक्चुअली क्या है कि आई एम लेजी मिडिल क्लास बॉन्ग एंड लाइफ इज वंडरफुल एंड सुना है कि लोग बॉम्बे में बहुत मेहनत करते हैं दिस नॉट समथिंग आई वांट टू डू ही वाज प्रिटी मच स्टंड विद दिस रिप्लाई एंड ही आल्सो लव्ड द ऑनेस्टी 
something happened which I've mentioned in a book of mine later on is Javed Sir started calling me almost once a week and those days I didn't have a mobile phone so there was a landline in my house so so what you are telling me is the Javed Akhtar yes. used to call you once a week yeah to just to tell me to that come to Bombay pack your bags and come to Bombay and I would each time tell him no uh, that why should I you know why should I work hard you know uh, life is great and my mom used to get quite flustered because often she would pick up the phone and she said what is this man he's I said just Bombay scared me the Bollywood world scared me and the fear of the unknown you could say so so for people who don't know who Javed Akhtar is if if you do exist like this it's like <laughs> Warren Buffett calling you every day to come and join his company or to you know invest in Berkshire Hathaway and somebody saying no that's the equivalent and the the interesting thing was Javed Sir was not saying this to come and work with him or anything he says do whatever you work with me we'd work together or not come to Bombay you need to come to Bombay don't be in Delhi this went on for some time and then it so happened that his friend Sudhir Mishra was doing Hazara Khwashi yeah. and he must have told Sudhir at least countless times there's this guy in Delhi who doesn't want to come but if you can somehow bring him over here then it's worth trying out this new guy so it's amazing normally the stories we hear is people come to bombay and struggle and go to every director and every producer and every actor with their tapes and all Nothing. of that and here you are sitting in delhi <laughs> and the directors are struggling <laughs> it's the opposite they're like I, i was un- unaware of all this and as is before starting this conversation i told you i'll try and break all the myths and this is true because the fact remains that um, i was used to come to bombay primarily to do advertising jingles I used to come for a day or two days max, finish my work, eat in some nice place, party, and go back. It was a great life. Who's complaining about this? So one of these days, and I have a feeling that somebody was tracking me. Sudhir Mishra called me up and said, uh, "Hey, Shantanu, I'm Sudhir Mishra, and of course I'd heard of him. Um, Javed Sab gave me your number. I'm doing a film called Hazara Khoshiyasi, and um, can could we meet?" My instant reaction to him was, "Sir." <laughs> sir delhi jana hai sir abhi we'll do it some next time because i was always excuses so he says where are you recording i said i'm recording so and so place he said i'm nearby i don't know whether he was or not but he said i'm nearby let's meet up just for a coffee so i said okay so somewhere near the studio only at a place and those were no days of starbucks and cafe coffee days and all yeah. that so some odb restaurant me and there was a young guy with him who introduced himself as Swanand Kirkare Swanand was Swanand. Sudhir Sudhir's assistant in the okay. film fresh from national school of drama uh, a direction student who was assisting Sudhir in this film and out of the 40 minute conversation we had 35 minutes was about apke savan and then he said that we are doing this film uh, i said i've never done a feature film and i don't know how much time does it take and all that I, i was asking them these questions that he said at least do a song and see how it goes so i said okay i'll do it from delhi and i went back and i with all honesty i wanted to start working in delhi but which what was happening was that i was not getting the connection i was what is the movie the script the my my world of football and machi jhol was not helping me score hazara khoshiyasi yep so i said that let me be fair to this man called sudhir mishra uh, even if i'm doing that one song let me do it in that mahol otherwise i'll not be able to do it i'm not trained to so, so you bullshit myself somewhere to record it so i decided to go for a month and this is the this is the most hilarious story i decided to go for a month to bombay uh, finish this whatever i'm doing and then come back It's like bye bye. I came for a month, and this happened. And Bavraman's story, so is even more bizarre because I was I had just started scoring. Understand? I didn't even I've never done anything of this sort. So I was going in a taxi, and suddenly Swanand said, "Ki sir, um, I write also." And and how old were you that time? This was like in your twenties. No, no, no. I'm very late. Everything has happened very late in my life. Um, I would be around thirty. Okay, so late twenties. Yeah, so thirty, I would be there. Um, mm, no, to be exact, it's thirty-two. 
Okay. So, um, Swanand said that I write also. Um, so, if ever you get a chance, and he was actually talking, thinking about Apke Savan, Shubha Mudgal. Mm-hmm. That was his dream that he'll write something, and Shubha Ji would sing on top of it, and that's why he was talking to me. We we're going in a taxi, and I'm going there to would do to the recording studio to do one score of Hazar Akwashiasi. Nothing to do with ba- Bhavan. So I said, wonderful. Uh, show me something that you have. So he immediately took out a crumpled sheet, and there was written, "Bhavan, dekhne chala ek sapna." What instantly hit me in that crumpled page was "Bhavan, Bhavan, Bhavan, Bhavan." Every line had the Bhavan. I said, "This is a very interesting structure." So I went to the studio, and um, I still remember that day almost as if like it's yesterday, and I have goosebumps thinking about it. That just like you and me are sitting out here, so I don't know what's sitting there, and uh, I'm waiting for some musicians to come to start my work. And I said, uh, uh, "Do you have any structure in mind when you wrote this?" Is it, sir? I have a, I have a mukhara type ka hai, and he starts singing. Vishal was blown by his voice. I mean, he's amazing. Mane, yeah. And and this is not a microphone one thing. I'm just sitting out outside in a studio lobby, uh, just. Talking to him, what he said, what he told, I don't remember anything, but I just remember that voice just hit me, and it caught me so hard that I knew in the next fifteen minutes I had to record this guy's voice. Next fifteen minutes, yeah, because then the other musicians will come for the other piece. I'll lose the moment, and Sonans, I knew from his body language, he was one hell of a nervous guy. If I tell him right now that okay, let's record your voice, there's no way in hell he's going to do that. So I had to, I had to kind of come up with fairy tales. I said, "Hey, it's all on, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'm trying this and trying that." Out of desperation, the Bavaraman tune came. It, the trigger was on and stupid. Sorry, so, I'm very so, bad. Yeah, yeah. This, so, yeah. so, and I told Swanand, uh, uh, "Just try something on the microphone." He said, "Sir, मेरे को छोड़ दो मैं मैं तो गा नहीं सकता." I said, "Swanand," he said, "नहीं सर मेरे से होगा नहीं." So I realized that I can't do this thing. So what can I do? So I actually uh, told him that forget the dubbing room. The dubbing room is a place where you put the microphone and the singer sing, which is a very formal place. I said, I told the engineer just place a mic here. Don't tell him there's a microphone here. So he sat down. Just we are like talking, and there's no microphone, nothing. There was just non conversation. I said, just sing along with me now. So I gradually, gradually, gradually goaded him into singing the stuff and. First time he sang, I played it back on the big speaker, and that expression was like he was, his jaws had just fallen off. He couldn't believe it's his voice. I think the first time he realized he can sing. So I said, "Swaran, was that too bad?" He said, "I don't know, but no, sir. Like I am, I said, "Yeah, you are." So he said, "Now, let's do it properly." And pretty much the version that you hear on the tape, Hazar Akwashi Asi, Bawar Aman Dekhne Chala Ek Sapna, is him just in a normal room. Not even a dubbing room with chun chan tun ta happening all over, but just that normal ambience, and we just record him like that. Breaks the entire myth that you have to be this and soundproof room and this doesn't matter. Catch the moment, capture the moment, capture the soul, capture the essence. In the garb of technology, let's not lose the soul. That was the lesson number one I learned that day, and I we recorded the song, and then. As usual, happy bong. I went back to Delhi. Uh, <laughs> who knows what happened to the song, the film? The film got released. The soundtrack didn't get released. The soundtrack got released. The film didn't get released. Marketing disaster. I told you, I can't even find yeah. Bawaraman on Spotify or Savan or Gana or any of these channels. You only have to pirate that song. So it's amazing that he uses this word. That uh, once all this failed, then God Almighty decided, "Kya nahi yaar, this guy." These guys have made a good song. Let's help them out. So, what did he do? This is incredible. So, in Delhi, now the camera now shifts to Delhi. In Delhi, uh, the then Prime Minister's, which is Atal Bihari Vajpayee's daughter, she's adopted. Uh, she happened to hear the song on the radio when she was going in the car. Wow! And as she was crossing Khan Market, the song was come on the radio, and the announcer announced that this is from a. Upcoming film, Hazara Khoshe Asi. So she 
the cavalcade of the car was instructed to stop in front of the Khan Market music shop. To buy? Because she wanted to buy the CD. Yeah. And when she went there to the store, the store said that there's no CD. Just like you've just said, there's nothing. <laughs> so, she said, okay, very strange. And she goes off. They, the store calls up the Virgin Records saying there was an inquiry from Prime Minister's office about this and there's no CD. There's pandemonium all over. Overnight, roughly say 200 CDs were printed. Out of that, let's say 20 were sent to the PMO. And rest became the fuel for pirating. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bhavraman probably the most pirated song that you ever hear. No, and as I told you, right, there is this YouTube video with the viper. <laughs> correct, correct. So, I first thought that this is actually from the movie. Then I realized, no, this is some guy just having the viper on with the song playing. It, it's actually almost hypnotical, right? I mean, you get you yeah, feel yeah. hypnotized because of that video. But Vishal, here the point was this, that at a very, very... The first shot probably, I realized that content is the king. Okay? Don't put too much emphasis on packaging, on this and that. They're important. But they cannot be more important than the content because here is an example of all systems failure. But yet, today, Hazara Khoeshe sees this song, Bhavaraman, is is what you call a cult song. Not that it was designed, not that it was intended, not there was some great marketing strategy involved. The power of the content pulled it through everything. No, but I and mean, there it is. The way I'm looking at it, this is almost like the universe wanted this song Absolutely. to come out. You know, Javed Saab calling you and you saying no mm. and then mm. you meeting Sudhir mm. Mishra and saying Absolutely. no and then you somehow convincing Swanand who's not even a singer and who's not, you know, it is this literally his first song. And that one month I came to Bombay I've been trying that. It's been 15 years. I couldn't go back. <laughs> so, so that's the story of uh, Bhavraman. So, so while Bhavraman is an amazing story, I want to still go back to Shubha Mudgal. How mm. did that happen? Because, you know, I mean, here you had a success and mm. people were following Apke Savan. Mm. But how did Shubha Mudgal happen to you? Again, like everything in my life, there are all some incredible stories. So, um, I was in advertising. Um, I, I, I had left my bank and oh yeah, you were in banking before, yeah, Citibank. So, yeah, so and then I realized that I can't wear that. So if we talk about your banking, what were you doing then? Um, we have to do certain things in life to know what not to do. <laughs> so banking that, was one so of that them. was one of them. Uh, I didn't belong to the conference room. I didn't belong uh, to the... the I, I, and I didn't belong to a hierarchy. Uh, I don't have the discipline of waiting till my turn comes to speak. Uh, I just, I'm a very uh, impromptu no, but person. But getting a job at Citibank, I mean, Citibank uh, is I was, the I was, top I was MNC, a very right? good student, Vishal. Yeah, I was, yeah. I was, I had, like any middle class bongs, ambitions, parents, I did my economics, I did all those things, which are politically correct that I need to do. But I just went there. The good part, Vishal, is that that feeling of not belonging there was so strong. Sometimes it happens to people, but it's not very strong. Thora more So you, mera kya hai ki, my oxygen level is depleting. So I could not have lasted there. I was there for a year and I couldn't have... And I, I, I still tell you the moment one day, and this is really bizarre, and this for the listeners, I'm sure, I'm sure it's happened or will happen sometime in the life when you're in the wrong place. Is that my motorcycle, just a kilometer before the city bank, <laughs> <Stops>. stopped. <laughs> so I take it to the yeah. mechanic and the mechanic says, kuch 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 kharab nahi <laughs> It's basically my, my motor nerves are not putting the throttle on. <laughs> It's gone to zero. And I'm wondering why is this motorcycle not moving? That's what the brain is started, started packing up. That's when I knew. And I still remember. Well, I, I'm sure a lot of people are encountering this. It, but now because they're in their Uber, they don't get to know this. And I still remember, Shal, the day I left City Bank and I, when I kind of, I still could not place me. I was walking. The trees looked greener. The people looked happier. <laughs> the sky was bluer. It just seemed nature had just been tweaked Suddenly. for that moment. I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. I said, wow, this is beautiful. I've been seeing this for a year. I never thought it was beautiful. Yeah. So, then I joined advertising. But not creative. I was a client servicing. Yeah, because after banking, yeah, you but see, who, I, my pedigree was not uh, a creative because whatever creative was a closer at creative like uh, all of us maximum college mein, canteen mein, thura gita gita <laughs> yeah, or table, uh, table ho so what else you yeah. know there's no there's no institution which encompassing the chordo 
यू कैन टेल योर चिल्ड्रन की जरा बेटे अंकल को गा के सुनाओ <laughs> अंकल को तबला बजा के सुनाओ कोई सुनी बोलते कंपोज करके दिखाओ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कॉम्पोजिशन डूइंग दिस ऑन माई ओन सो वाइल्ड इन एडवर्टाइजिंग दे वॉज दिचुएशन वेयर द क्रिएटिव वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ contract advertising which was to work was a man called pradeep sarkar who later on went to make movie called parinita, parinita yeah of course yeah yeah he was heading that so there was a clear divide which all between servicing and clients there was like the east berlin and west berlin <laughs> yeah there was a wall in the middle okay so we were servicing people we not supposed to be loitering around the creative part uh, they used to get the better food and better coffees and they they creative you know yeah So I used to like look at them and just wonder what a magical world that and is. And Prasun was that time in. The Prasun was an O N M that yeah, time. Yeah, O N M. Yeah. But uh, me and Prasun would often meet downstairs, hmm. just for chat. He was also f- being a Hindi writer. He was figuring out his life in this English world, and I was in the wrong place. Clearly, yeah, I was a creative. But who's who's going to listen to me? <laughs> so both of us would sit and discuss and said. ओवर पकोड़ा एंड चाय दिस इज दिल्ली जाए एडवर्टाइजिंग में कुछ होता भी नहीं है बॉम्बे में ही सब होता था सो या सो देयर वाज अ कमोशन इन द सर्विसिंग इन द क्रिएटिव डिपार्टमेंट एट अराउंड 9 9:30 द नाइट एंड रियलाइज्ड सी दैट टाइम विशाल ना ऑल द बिग जिंगल्स यूज्ड टू हैपन इन बॉम्बे बॉम्बे इज द बियर बट बिकॉज़ ऑफ सम पेमेंट प्रॉब्लम समथिंग दोस की पीपल हैड रिफ्यूज्ड एंड देयर वाज अ वेरी इंपोर्टेंट प्रेजेंटेशन कमिंग अप द डे आफ्टर एंड हैड टू बी डन सो देयर वाज यूजल जो होता है एजेंसी में ये नहीं उसको नहीं बोला ये नहीं चल रहा है सडनली माई बॉस रिमेम्बर्ड एन एवरेज लाइन विच एनी बायोडा है एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज कॉलेज में गाना गाया तो ये तू गाना गाता है क्रिएटिव वाइस प्रेसिडेंट गाय एनी वेज अपर एंग्री सेट सो यू सिंग नो नो सो यू सिंग So he gave me Bio a paper. Me. He, pay, he gave me a paper, and he said, "There's a line here. How long will you take to compose this?" <laughs> I have no reference point to this. So I said, "Give me 15 minutes." <laughs> so typically, people take two, three days. Uh, so I said, "15 minutes." He said, "Where will you?" I said, "Somewhere where there's a good table where I can play." He said, "What?" I said, "No table." I said, "The conference room has a good table, mahogany table." He said. I said okay, you go there. I'll come. So I went there. Like I used to do in college, I composed that line, and I played the table and composed something. He came <laughs> after fifteen minutes, more curious than anything else. Just seeing who this animal, what is this he up to, and I sang that line, and he liked it. And then, uh, amazing providence, my friend was now the. Very famous singer called KK. Mm-hmm. He used to stay in, in very close to my house. I said, called him. I said, dude, <laughs> there's a crisis. I have to do a jingle. I don't know what that means. I have never entered a recording studio in my life. Can you help me? So he came. And we took that line. So this was Bole Mere Lips. I love Uncle Chips, and that is what happened. And then it became, it became huge. And I know they had this before. Yeah, yeah. That, <laughs> yeah, you know, before that yeah, jingle, yeah. I remember yeah. you know people. So <laughs> so <laughs> so <laughs> then it gave me a little confidence and it gave me a little izzat. सो नो क्रिएटिव में से कभी कभी खाना आता था मेरे पास कभी भी कॉफी मेरे पास पहुंचता था सो आई वॉज नॉट एक्सेप्टेड इन टू दैट इन द्रिएटिव इन द क्रिएटिव वर्ल्ड एंड देन वन टू थ्री फोर करते 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 आई स्टार्ट डूइंग मोर एंड मोर जिंगल्स बट देर सो मेनी अदर पीपल ऑल्सो इन क्लाइंट सर्विसिंग वाई ओनली यू आई मीन दे कुड हैव गॉन टू एनी बडी एंड सेट कम एंड सिंग राइट नॉर्मली सो वॉट हैपन वाई वाई डू नो ही रिमेम सी टाइमिंग माई लाइफ इज ऑल अबाउट टाइमिंग सो इट जस्ट हैपन एंड ऑल्सो रिमेम्बर वन थिंग दैट For a person who has done his MBA, who is now working in a in a corporate environment, and all, to, to say that to, so, to to say that oh. he wants to do, कि मैं गाना गाता हूँ नॉलेज they are negative words, गाना संगीत poetry art they are bad words. So मेरा क्या था कि I had dealt with it and I said what's wrong in it I do what I do. So that's the only difference. Maybe they had but they nobody admitted it. Yeah, mm, because it it can hamper their promotion. कि यार ये गाता है इसको क्या प्रमोशन देंगे इट्स लाइक दैट एंड एंड इट मे सीम रिजिगुलस एट द मोमेंट बट देयर वाज अ टाइम या व्हेन इट वाज लाइक दैट इज द फैमिली इज द वन हु डज ऑल दिस एंड नोबडी वांट्स टू टॉक अबाउट इट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट दैट वाज द टाइम इन आवर लाइव्स वेयर दैट मिडिल क्लास थिंकिंग कि यार जो भी करोगे अच्छी तरह से करोगे दिस वाज व्हाट लेट 90s दिस वाज लेट 90s तो क्या है कि अगर आप ब्रांड मैनेजर हो हाउ कैन यू लव फूड 
so that was a time when you had to portray yourself as everything was brand i love brands i love this i love this so that it goes in sync with your personality why is, is it also the bong connection you keep saying about bongs right so it is like there is this stereotype that you know creative matlab you need to be bengali hmm. and you know football is bengali and you are like you know if you look at all those yeah, yeah. stereotypes uh, and stick marks tha mera but I, i was like a english man in new york because <laughs> i was a bong in delhi <laughs> which is a lethal combination but important thing is shall that I could not have reached where I am because without the help of these incredible people, beat Javed Sahab in the Power of One story, or Pradeep Sarkar and KK in this story, where suddenly from nothing this jingle happened, this this jingle became yeah, but, a cult. But you decided to take a risk, right? I mean, that's the always. Whole, I mean, you know. always, and I have no backup plan when I take a risk. You cannot take a risk with backup plans. कि यार ये नहीं होगा तो ये नहीं वो risk तब होता है कि बस So for I you there was know. no I mean nothing to lose right so I mean, wait, exactly yeah. so jab wo nothing to lose wala state of mind aa jata na vishal that's when you are at your best because i've generally seen in my life it never worked and it's happened many times and then what happens is i start doing jingles i start doing this and in a studio on and off i would meet shubham udgal and she was this obviously very respected in delhi in, in delhi she was respected classically i asked her hello how are you and all that that's it So by that time, so one of the things about me is I get puck out very fast. You don't like monotony. Ha. Huh. So, city bankers, ch- please ch- <laughs> listen. Change, change is the only constant which I believe in. And I had gone to a, a incredible country called Kazakhstan in late nineties. Mm-hmm. That time was it I, I Kazakhstan not, I know, or was it something it, else? And it was the, the day I left. It was uh, erstwhile Soviet Union. When I landed, it became Russia, <laughs> uh, Kazakhstan. So the hell had broken loose. Wow. Whatever. Anyway, we'll not. That's a separate story. But the important part is there. I saw th- there's a there's a festival called Azia Dauzi. Azia Dauzi means in Kazakh Voice of Asia. And you have countries from all over the world participating in this amazing Olympic. When I landed in Kazakhstan, I didn't know what was the CS mountain. Hmm. So there's a beautiful river called Almaty, based on which the capital is called Almaty. Beautiful place and this Olympic skiing stadium, which converts into for five days is musical uh, um, world and and I was there. I had taken a bunch of my Baul friends, uh, Sufi friends, to do a performance there. You had Sufi friends. Ah, oh, man, that was my always my interest, Vishal, because okay. I used to travel, I used to do all that. I I some Baul down this and that. That is why I said I, I did not need in my system Bollywood because I was my senses were full. With mm. all this, I sat there and saw that all over the world a trend was happening where traditional folk and classical form was being presented, but in a contemporary way. And I don't know why Shubha Mudgal's voice kept on screaming in my head. Yeah. There was no other voice which yeah. seemed. So I landed back, and ignorance is bliss at that time. I don't know whether I can do this now, but there was a bravado. I just called her up, and who am I? Nothing. I just called her to say that uh, Shubha ji, um, I have an idea. Can I come discuss with you? And look at her. Mm-hmm. She said that, of course. She has no idea what I do. So, two, three times in the studio, me will be. That's it. So I went to her house and uh, sat down. She said, "Tell me." She said, "Look, I have this thing." So she said, "Do you have any composition?" I said, "Yes." She said, "What do you want to play on?" Because obviously, obviously, I was not carrying table. Anything. So I said, "Table, dekha, dekha nahi, maine kuch table." <laughs> तो मैंने कहा सर आपके मैम आपके पास कुछ बर्तन बर्तन है सो शी लुक एट मी इन यू कम टू द किचन विद मी सो वी वेंट एंड किचन में इसको तीन चार स्टील प्लेट्स सम चम्मच वम्मच करके आई सैंग दर अ सॉन्ग फ्रॉम आपके सवन कॉल डेरी डेरे 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 डोले बावरिया रे जाने सजना है कौन नगर यारे दिस वन वुल्फ सामे टंग 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 फुल लैटिन अमेरिकन स्टफ सो आई सेंड इट एंड आई थिंक शी वाज मोर इंप्रेस्ड विद माय परफॉर्मेंस देन द कंपोजिशन शी वाज केप्ट ऑन लुकिंग एट विद ऑल द ऑल द थिंग्स प्लेइंग शी सेड ओके सो व्हाट इज द प्लान डू यू हैव अ रिकॉर्डिंग लेबल आई सेड नो सो शी सेड व्हाट डू यू प्लान टू डू आई जस्ट वांट टू रिकॉर्ड एंड आई विल टेक इट अराउंड टू पीपल एंड सी इफ दे आर इंटरेस्टेड दोस डेज नॉट योर अबाउट YouTube एंड ऑल दैट यू हैड टू गो थ्रू रिकॉर्डिंग लेबल सो शी सेड Give me a day because it's not something that I would usually do. Let me think about it. And next day she said that I don't know why I'm saying this, but 
let's do it so <laughs> i don't know why i'm saying this <laughs> but let's do it let's do it so then i we, i did that one song again timing uh, i had gone to a couple of recording labels and uh, i was not accepted they didn't like the music and all that virgin records was coming to india for the first time hmm. and they were looking at a world sound and they were looking like something offbeat which is different from what's happening in the movies and in this flight i met then their anr manager uh, atul chudamani who loved what he's heard and within 5 minute the 5 days the deal was done so virgin record first album in india was up to 7 wow and uh, completely non bollywood non celebrity non music <laughs> and um, it, it's a very important information here that for the first time uh, ndtv which was a pure news because pradeep sarkar who did the music video for this had done such an amazing job of the music video that it was featured in the news which today has become wow. normal thing in news you have entertainment but that time it was not but i still remember the f- it came for the first time and that's how the popularity kind of went through the roof because you saw news what's happening so that's the story of uh, apke Ab- saavn incredible The Vishal Gondal show will be right back after this break. Over 47% of online users in India have experienced harassment at some point. So if it's two of us inside this recording studio, chances are pretty high that one of us has faced abuse at some point. How do we tackle this? What do we need to do better? Come, let's learn together. Join me on Akanksha against harassment. at IVM podcast every thursday let's learn how to make online a safe place together so a trip to kazakhstan leads to apke saavn true and then javed saab trying to call you again and again but i want to go a little behind right i mean i want to go what led to you even choosing to becoming a banker i mean as a kid what were you what were you all up to what were you do um uh, vishal that time options were very limited you would, I would either be an engineer or a doctor chartered accountant and banking had just started because multinationals had just entered i was not brain enough to do an engineering and to be a doctor was too tedious and i would typically that time faint even with a uh, rat <laughs> dissected to by my neighbor so so banking was the most preferred job at that moment and and you were living in delhi because delhi. your dad was working yeah. there so dad was working there dad was a agricultural scientist and um uh, a government uh, employee for them a multinational bank was a big deal and um, pretty much that was the universe and and you were the only son I'm or the only son, okay yeah. yeah i'm the only son my mother is a dancer and uh, she also is an artist so because my father had seen so much of poverty with music they're from banaras that he was not very encouraging of me doing music seriously he, he was completely okay with me doing whatever i felt like doing but not that dedication but, but you grew up in a very art musical environment at absolutely home. and i've i have seen i have seen some incredible things i've seen day in and day out my father cooking happily for my mother because she's busy with a, a theater rehearsal so that <coughs> gender bias was completely not exist in my house uh, if somebody was artistic and doing something that was of supreme importance everybody would cooperate to make that happen that's the kind of family i came from but the family was not good enough to do something substantial in a you know in a environment where there was no other vertical which was worth the profession you could be a great photographer but that was not a worth a profession you could be a great musician but not a worth a profession the only thing would be these one of these four verticals i told you which is engineering doctor a uh, chartered accountant or or uh, a banker so pretty much that, and that's how you were you were channelized into that was your universe uh, here i also want to tell you one thing very interesting is how did i become a composer same time it's happening that i had the tendency to hear a song and saying that maybe the composer would have done this 
differently differently so maybe um, um, for example a song like um wo asma jhuk raha hai zameen par any friend gathering sitting in the guitar and all that but important thing is they were all published songs that we were singing but i had this ability and desire to keep on changing things and i already had started composing my own stuff we used to have a thing called durga puja durga puja was the biggest bong festival which in my colony in chitranjan park in delhi there was this chitranjan uh, park is the bengal of yeah. <laughs> delhi right? largest congregation of bengalis outside um, calcutta at that time at least um I mean, even now i guess yeah i, don't know. I, I think uh, bangalore now has been pipped oh. yeah, it's number 2 now so uh there was a thing about 45 minute of stage will be given to talent indigenous to the colony that you lived in otherwise generally there would be accomplished artists from from calcutta but 45 minutes to 1 hour for something from the colony which is a great idea hmm. local talent local talent and somehow hamara ye tha ki yaar when we getting this opportunity we won't sing somebody else's song we'll sing our song which means somebody should write somebody should tune and then we'll sing it vishal that was the holy grail of my composition if this was not there there's no way in hell i would have known that i can compose and, and unfortunately people are now getting discouraged from participating in local events and festival right this is really where i keep on telling here vishal that yes it's wonderful to do organize events Aajkal which are Halloween huge party bana which are, no, which are, which are huge hai. but yeah. you have to have something of that building or of that colony where that talent gets an expression even be two line poetry or something if that platform is not given to them how will you find out that your child can do something which is beyond your expectation it's these platforms which that's a very very important that is why we shall um, you will see last almost 10 years serious talent in india is coming from small towns and because wahan pe hota hai these sir. reality shows are becoming the, i mean arijit singh came Absolutely. out of one of these shows so, right yeah so uh, so pretty much that was the thing at that time and uh, i used to compose my stuff and i kept on doing it and though banker was as i said the normal all my peer group was doing that so i was also doing that but genetically there is something in me yeah. which drops down when as soon as it knows that it's not in the right place and i don't know if everybody has these genes that's why some of them really suffer long time in life i know i've met so many people which are later on who are my classmates brilliant guys brilliant students but they always also had some un- another brilliant aptitude which later on they discovered because the system didn't allow them to come out but because they were already good in something that other thing which had given them real joy and happiness uh this is for example a friend of mine um now is doing some brilliant work as an underwater photographer diving he used to work in exxon he's just left 5 years back he could have done this all his life yep. but he never thought mane ye kya profession hota hai yaar underwater photography kya hota hai photography ka koi value nahi hai underwater photography <laughs> chance hi nahi hai chance hi nahi hai but now he realizes no there is a world out there and more important than anything else that I wish there was somebody there to tell me that you can do it. Mera ingrain tha. My my vital statistics in the body, blood pressure, pulse rate, all would go haywire. As soon as I was in a situation which was not conducive, and thank God for that, which has steered me through uh, the entire journey of my life. So, so who were your ideals when you grew? Where you were growing up? Uh, Beatles, uh, John Denver, Simon and Garfunkel, Bob Dylan. uh ardi barman um sal chaudhary um huge kishore fan huge lata ji fan 
um so yeah the so music uh, was literally in your dna yeah, and, and then no then, then that was one then um i was a huge fan of this man called ranul mesner um who was the first person uh, to climb all the 10 in 1000 so, meter peaks so by the way i was i just met today somebody a good friend again who meets renault literally every year he goes to everest base camp with adil shad oh so we were just talking about renault mm-hmm. mesner and i think he's going to be in india next year so i'll tell you yeah, when he's coming yeah, here yeah. you should meet him yeah of course i will now that you told me yep so thing like that and then um i was to follow monitoring stuff and monitoring ka bhi bada interesting story hai uh, usually ek average मिडिल क्लास के घर में मॉनिटरिंग डज नॉट एंटर बट बींग अ बॉन्ग एंड अ बॉन्ग कॉलोनी समबडी इज एल्डर ब्रदर somebody the uncle has gone for a trek done yeah. something you come back in the evening they got their maps open the, it's a very amazing world yeah. Yeah, which you don't usually so, see again, it's very unique to bengalis right this art this kida of doing Travel, all this discovery trekking. poetry ye sab punjabiyon ko pata nahi itna nahi hota but yeah it's well, there the when we say adda it means this only <laughs> <laughs> So I mean, so what is there? Is it the culture? Is it the DNA? Is it the food? What is creating this atmosphere? I must say, I must say. Um, let, let me answer this with an with a small example. So I had gone to Brazil to see the Brazil World Cup. Course, we had met on the way back on the correct, flight. Correct. <laughs> so um, outside one of the stadiums, Maracana, I was standing, and I saw an elderly couple, uh, little lost, and Bengali written all over the face. Okay, <laughs> so I walked up to them. Ki bolche? I said, "Namaskar, apna ki Bangali." They were like, "Apni Bangali?" <laughs> so they were very happy to see me. I got what was happened. So basically, um, he he has a um, blood pressure issue and his medicine had fallen down. He was looking for it. So there was a medical camp. I took them there. And the interesting story is, he works as a lower division clerk. You know. Government organization in Bengal for five years, Vishal. He's been saving to come here. He has seen six World Cups. Six World Cups. And between those World Cups, they don't eat out. They don't wear new clothes. They do nothing. They just save that money to see that World Cup. If that is not passion, Vishal, what is? Hoard. That's an incredible story. Yes. So the thing is that. Um, so he travels anywhere in the world where there is a world cup world cup that's it. and th- that is why and everything is saved for that everything he will he will he will abstain himself from everything else just to say discipline vision passion uh so so my colony of cr park is it exactly was people. was such people i've seen that and i've seen the importance that passion is given without any safety net ki near uh, my uh, i will do this next year when i get a promotion was not a language that i was aware of i will do it now this river needs to be crossed in a in a uh, dingy rubber dingy now because who knows next year may they put a dam and it will dry up yeah. so let's do it now well, in fact when i was on everest base camp i heard that most of the indian climbers come from bengal absolutely bengal has the highest amount of climbers and so because also very very interestingly uh, um, not the way uh, you travel <laughs> yeah. but it is a, one of the cheapest form of entertainment yeah. when you're tenting out when you're doing this you're interacting with the people and i don't know why it's it's always there it's, it's like certain people have this show off that hey you know i've got the world's best cigars bongs have this you know what i went to a place we don't even heard of <laughs> so but you never lived in calcutta no i'm but i'm a, i'm a lucknow and delhi boy but still you call yourself like a core bang- bengali I'm how a bengali. is that possible it's like a it's like um, yeah man you don't have to be in. there's a, there's a bengal outside bengal too as guldar says okay and uh, there's a there's a bengal in me mm, but that has its many advantages vishal in is that i don't take my culture for granted because i was in a place like delhi where i was surrounded cosmopolitan south indians sardars everybody so i learned to value what i have um also i just feel that um uh, there's a there's a wanderlust which is a Be- bengali is ingrained in me uh, also um very important thing is that beyond a point vishal you know life cannot be lived with the left hand side is equal to right hand side equation yeah 
more often than not those equations are never equal and to accept that and then live with it is what uh, uh, i've seen people so, around so, me so you've traveled across the world right so is there any other group which comes very close to the bengalis of india who oh, are oh yeah yeah um, um, i i'm happy to say maharashtrians mm mm-hmm. um a lot of people i've seen traveling Very creative. yeah traveling and sh- amazing trekkers amazing trekkers amazing trekking i'm talking more from a music and art perspective uh, uh, musical art art perspective i would say kerala the malayali community is fantastic in terms of uh, um there is a pratha and, and what about outside india i mean you've been outside india for so many you know, so i'll t- i'll tell you um wherever there is a tradition remember tradition the, the, there was a um fiddler on the roof is a movie tradition is the most important word shall and we could hold on to it like there's there's nothing in the world left because tradition is what will save us from uh insipid things in bengal and in kerala both evening matlab the kid has to sit down with his tanpura or harmonium and sing saregama it is part of the culture there is no compromise on it there is no debate on it my this. best friend in school keralaite hmm. he used to play violin you know i'm like what is going on hum log idhar sham ko sham ko he used to play so violin while play. the mother or the father will put on the diya and the bati and whatever that tradition this tradition is going on that one hour riyaz has to come you could be the biggest besor on the world does not matter <laughs> but the, you have to go through that system you see the art compliance of these two places the mainstream industry has not been able to put a dent there both these places their non film music sells more than the film music wow incredible statistics it happens because of that pratha in the sham ko ki baitho anywhere in the world in places russia incredible place evening that violin and the cello will be being played by somebody europe many many places in europe and the interesting part is the problem with america is that everything is a coach because that's foreign you're doing that to be the best in europe it's not that grandfather is filling his pipe where the kid is playing a broken cello there is no future in the cello there is no future in the kid who is playing the cello but yet there is something that is in the evening that's a tradition so i think uh, we have this in our country bishal Uh, and not just kerala and bengal we had this in in small town india has traditions and that is why you take sports you take entertainment you take art as i told you before they are all coming from small towns because that's tradition and that's happening without coaching that's happening because there's a movement you you that's what you do and uh, the long term benefits the stability the way they know how to tackle a problem the way they know how to deal with things Uh, distress all these things are natural to these kids because of that one hour uh, evening riyas they're doing and whatever they're doing amazing so so just going back a little bit so after bavra man hmm. how did you get into mainstream bollywood i mean again we've heard how competitive it is there are all these clubs and all these hmm. you know groups and it's not really easy to break in but today you are working with some of the best producers directors and artists so uh, here again is a story of a myth being broken was that i fortunately never had to go to anybody to ask for uh, any work or show because a i didn't know the industry and b as you remember i was already ready with one bad pack to go back to delhi <laughs> so <laughs> there was the focus that okay ho gaya ye kaam abhi main chalta hu so post hazare khush aise i think we want to make sure that no airline gets your ticket to delhi i think so we need no, to no, somehow no, figure no, that no, moved, no, <laughs> okay now i've been to delhi and i'm going to go back to delhi so um, post hazare khush aise exactly in the time where and we must understand one thing that after hazara khushi there was no indication that this movie or the song is a cult or anything like that business as usual uh, and you wondering what next so i'm ready to go back to to delhi, delhi. and i i had taken rented a, a car with my friend so i i was just there was a football game on a saturday and i said there's no way in hell i'm going to miss that in delhi so i took a train 
on on Thursday night and beautifully in this train I went and got down and I'm getting ready to play the match I got a phone call from um, Pradeep Sarkar and he said that uh, we have a meeting in an hour's time in Vidhuvuno Chopra's house he has liked one of the songs that you've done I said Pradeep I'm in Delhi so <laughs> we're going Pradeep, to play football I'm going to play no I didn't say that so Pradeep was very upset he said you should have gone there without telling me he said how the hell am I supposed to know he said what can I do I said whatever I do in one hour I cannot come for that meeting so he said you've put me in a false situation so what do I do and and my in my head it's going on ki my team had many very good players so if I don't do the follow the drills then all you know once the match starts the coach will ask me to sit out and put me later and don't do that I spent too much money coming here so I said Pradeep I'll call you back okay <laughs> so I keep the phone and I play a match it was a good match I, I remember I scored two goals and then after the match I go back home and I call him and I said I said project is happening he said while he was writing the script for Parinitra there was no producer nothing so one day me and Swanan I just written a song called Raat Hamari To Chand Ki Saheli Hai Kitne Dino Ke Baad Aibyo Kheli Hai It was no purpose bhi nahi tha, Vishal It was one of those things again which is did because we felt like Kahan lagega kya hoga pata nahi And in those days while Pradeep had gone he happened to play that song to Vinod and Vinod said who is this guy So he said that he's, what has he done before he's done nothing except Bhavraman hmm. which he had heard He said oh okay So call him so Which was that meeting So I said okay Then it didn't work out Anyway I came back On Monday So just for that match I had come <laughs> There was a great um, Mutton biryani party Next day which I had to miss out <laughs> So life was And it's For me it was uh, Devastating Shit uh, yeah, So I missed the party What happened with Bangali What happened with Bangali So I went back The next day Monday I went to Mr. Vidhuna Chopra And legendary Vidhuna Chopra Did it 94 to love story Parinda Little, how to put it? Um, I admired his work, which is why I was 1942. I mean, yeah, the best, yeah, yeah. and, and the story, the how songs. he resurrected, how he had resurrected R.D. Burman out of that. But I know we knew all the stories, but now I'm meeting the man. So, so in my mother's mother's language, this was the first real Bollywood meeting which was happening <laughs> from the time I went, <laughs> went to Bombay. So finally he came and he was this jovial guy. I said, yeah, what's going on? He said, yeah, you've done three songs. There's one song that is the best song. And the night is the best song. So the, I still remember the other song. He said, the only reason to do this film will be this song. To do the film is the song? Yeah, song. He said, if you can give me five other songs like this, we are home. So I asked him, sir, uh, what happened to the other three songs? He said, they were bullshit. They were, they were so bad, I cannot tell you. So that's Vidhu Manoj Chopra wow. Straight on the face Clear So I said okay He said Pia bole, hole, hole, then, it, yeah. then he told me He told me some nice stories some Amazing stories of Adi Barman And all this thing and You realize that this was On hallowed ground You were sitting there And You never You never designed it I was happy playing football <laughs> And This was there and, But you realize How close he was to Adi Barman And that was my lure But I want to spend some more time with Vidhu Manoj Chopra to hear more stories of R.D. Bowman, which I don't have to read in a book or a newspaper, but straight from there. And he played me some recordings where R.D. was talking. And it was amazing. And then, without even thinking that the song is going to be a picture, this R.D. Bowman's story is going to be a story. We started meeting today, day after tomorrow, and we started making songs. Swanand used to say it. I used to say it. Vinod used to say it. Um, uh, Pradeep used to say it uh, That time Raju was just doing Sometimes Rajkumar and Rani used to come Vishal that was the most Glorious period in my In my world Because I had heard so many horror stories About Bollywood uh, So maybe in my Defense mechanism I always wanted to be away from this place But This entry into the And here is a very important uh, Point I really want to make that When I was entering Vidhu Manoj Chopra's house, the first day uh, when uh, from Delhi have just come, the phone rings and the call has been Javed Akhtar. So Javed Sab says that um, I've just got to know they are meeting Vidhu Manoj Chopra. Oh, small world, huh? So I said, 
Yes, sir. In fact, as we speak, I'm entering. He said, I just want to tell you one thing. From now onwards, this point onwards, your life is going to change. Oh. So, I, I didn't know what he meant that time. So, so have you ever worked with Javed Sabs formally in any, no, any project? No. 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 Wow. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> yeah. But... Uh, so, Javed is like this angel or godfather for you. Which right? is why the relationship was special also. Yeah. It was not because... Unko kuch chahiye tha, kuch, nothing. We have never worked. But it was his mission statement that I want to... And any any achievement thing he always calls up. It's a very, very amazing thing. So, he said, your life will change from now onwards. And in a way which you don't even you won't even know. So he calls you just to say so that your life is going to change. change. So be ready for it, because he knows how Bengali I am. <laughs> so he he, he want to give me a heads up. So anyway, so so that Vishal was an amazing and the making of the songs and then of course Shreya Ghoshal and Sonunagam and I'm, I'm now in, in the big league. Uh, this. Bengali guy who's Parinita's yeah, music. I think, like you said, that that movie is only worth seeing so, for the music. So then, uh, I remember the premiere was in uh, Amsterdam. IFA was happening there, and we went there, uh, all of us. And now you're in hardcore Bollywood. So there was, there were everybody. There was the all the the great people, and that you've always just seen in newspapers and movies, and they were all celebrating. Piyu bole, piya bole, or kaisi paheli, and all that mm. stuff. So for the first time, I got this feeling that this is an interesting place. Uh, maybe I should be a little more respectful about the business I am in. Uh, that's a very important realization, Vishal, because I genuinely believe that with this standoffish nature of mine, I wouldn't have lasted too long. But it's because of this incident which happened where I said that no, there's some amazing people out here. I kind of now start concentrating more and uh, then I've been very very fortunate again um, the kind of movies that I've got you know, one after the other uh, but again the dictum has always been that um, because this was not my focus because this was not my a lot of people say my I was born to do this I was not born to do Bollywood I was born to do music Bollywood is just one of those things so I had always had a clarity and I didn't want to do anything just for the sake of it. Ki Bollywood to kya Because to, what, how's the story? How is this going to happen? And and I have taken that choice always. Be it a three idiots or be it a pink. It does not matter how big, how many songs, what. No. What am I part of? The pedigree of the family that I'm part of is more important it's than the anything people else. who finally make yeah, the, yeah. the family absolutely yeah. so so small small things like that I think really help me the Vishal Gondal show will be right back after this break hey friend so if you're listening to a podcast right now you're probably some kind of a nerd a nerd at heart at least so maybe just maybe you might like another podcast about nerds by nerds and for nerds. It's called Geek Fruit, a community to unite estranged geeks from across India and later on the world. We talk about television, movies, science fiction, adventure, fantasy, etc. Anything nerdy, it's all here on Geek Fruit. You can catch a fresh episode every Monday and you can check us out on any of your favorite podcast apps, like my favorite podcast app, the IVM Podcast app. Give me my money, IVM. Good plug. Happy listening, you nerds. I mean, I, I'm, I know some people have said this before. So you are literally the the today's R D Burman. If anybody had to, because you are able to put the soul back in the music, right? I mean, there is music, and then there is soul, or soulful music. So how does the soul come into what you do? A lot of that is DNA. Uh, being a Bengali, of things that I've heard. No, but not every Beg- a Bengali can you know do this. Also, Mostly, right? no, not that because also also my traveling helps me a lot. I am also um, I am a. By nature, I believe that uh, you don't have to shout to put across a point. Uh, so immediately, soul comes from there. Where um, I still remember that very amazing scene in uh, Bandini, where um, uh, Ashok Kumar is in that in that next to the river, waiting for that boat, and the song is happening. Waha kaun hai tera musafir? Aayega kaha? There's no conversation, Vishal. They're just looking at each other, and there's a beautiful boat ka sound. Oh, it's a tapestry of silence. Dam le le, dam le le, 
दम ले ले घड़ी भर ये सैया आएगा कहा वहा कौन है तेरा फिलोसफी इट टॉक्स अबाउट सच अग सच एन ह्यूज थिंग इन सच अ सिंपल मैनर आई अंडरस्टैंड दिस लैंग्वेज वेरी वेल I understand this language believer I understand the language of silence when I'm traveling uh, I have to gauge people uh, I have to gauge the moods uh, even in a situation where I'm stuck um, when I knock on to a door and say hey I need help I have to gauge in the first 5 seconds uh, am I being inconvenient to them they are not, small town especially village people in the mountains are very nice simple people they will never refuse you but am i going to create a situation out there i have to judge all that that all comes from silence if there was too much of noise there was too much of shouting around i would never have seen these nuances so um, definitely travel definitely uh, and i'm co- constantly link this to this because i genuinely believe that artists need to travel because travel takes you out of your comfort level it takes you and puts you in places which you've not used to and that's when your senses kick in that's when your brain is now active otherwise uh, constantly in the known parameter many of our cells are dying you yeah. don't even know that no, and putting yourself in new scenarios it's not about traveling to the same places or the same cities it's traveling to new places yeah. and i've done that new people yeah. and you see an apke saban or bole mere levan culture i've always put myself in situations which are not not this thing with this feeling ki worse kya hoga ki koi bolega ki yaar ye kya bana hai yaar what is this i'm okay with that but i'm not okay with that feeling which i got when my motorcycle stopped a kilometer away that uh, i don't want to do this anymore and and the problem is there are many people who are in these scenarios whose motorcycle is stopping in you know much before but they still are forced to continue saying that oh i have a life i have a wife i have to pay for expenses i left my job a month before i got married ooh and uh, it was a huge deal uh, and, <laughs> but i must tell you one thing and uh, my father just asked me one thing that uh, do you know what you're doing i said no he said great <laughs> that two sentence conversation you would expect him to say or he would expect me to say that yeah i know i didn't know yeah. i just don't want to do this but i don't know what i want to do he said that's okay that assurance that's okay not to know vishal is what so mis- is missing in people's lives which is why they take those forceful decisions that's okay i don't know what to do that's perfectly okay No, but that's not. I mean, that was okay for your father and yeah. you. But for an average person, that mm. is not okay. Which is becoming the whole problem. Everybody's problem. in the rat race, right? I mean, yeah. that's what it is. So yeah. I think the challenge really comes around that. But you have somehow been able to break through that mold. I mean, and and not only be successful, but add meaning to it, right? I mean, what you're doing with this whole f- project of mm, you know, kind of uh, getting yeah, all yeah. the mm, traditional mm, music. Yeah. So tell me more about that. I know you also went to the Himalayas and you did this whole thing with that. So uh, this happened with us with an incident, uh, very very simple incident, Vishal. Actually, but uh, I don't know some of it just hit me, bothered me. I was uh, in Himachal. Uh, I was traveling three years back. Early morning, stopped at a dhaba to drink some tea, and I saw a, a heated argument outside the tea shop. Not the usual thing you would hear in a early morning in a mountain. Yeah. So, so I asked my guide and driver, "Ki kya ho raha hai?" Is it sir, at subeh na, inko sadak pe ek 500 rupee ka note mila hai. So they're discussing how to share it amongst themselves. Vishal just blew me, man. But like, can you imagine the instinct of that place is sharing, and the instinct of where I live <laughs> yeah, okay. is me. Yeah, they're two different worlds, and I wanted to know that world. So I remember when I came back, I still remember PK was going on that time. My work of PK was going on, and I mentally made a note that. Post PK, I'm going to take a break, and uh, and then PK became huge and whatever and all that. But it in all the din, it also gave me a little silence. And I hooked on, hooked up with my friend Ritiman, who's a he's one of the most celebrated wildlife photographers. Primarily, he he shot to fame because he shot the elusive snow leopard 
which, which was featured in BBC National Geographic. So I decided to spend 100 days in the Himalayas. And um, um, so, and it, it was pretty amazing, uh, Vishal, because I've always wondered um, what what good are these conferences <laughs> like Inc. and all that. Um, but thanks to one such conference in Mumbai that happened, it was Inc. that uh, a gentleman walked up to me uh, called Sunny and he said that, you know, what you're doing is amazing. How much money will this cost? And I said, I said, here's the money. And you meet these people along the way. You meet these people. Amazing. Along the way. <laughs> Somebody just comes and writes yeah, you a yeah, check and says, yeah, do this. Just do this. And, uh, and people along the way, you got to dream. You have to dare to dream. And as you rightly said, that sentence when you started the conversation, somehow the universe kind of comes together to kind of help you with it. And that hundred days, I've just finished this uh, last month. Uh, just catapulted me into this whole new universe. New music entered my head. New things. I did a concert. Uh, I'm I'm now going to Nepal now for this concert. This is not my Bollywood songs. These are songs that I've heard from childhood in Banaras. So you've literally collected, this. collected, and then done my own composition stuff and got artists. Ani Chowing, Drolma, Koshiki Chakravarti. You know my classical world, my folk world, which otherwise. All this while, I was again afraid that I'm Bollywood, will they kind of listen to me? We all have these fears, layers and layers of fears. But this journey kind of just took me out and uh, it's a very interesting phase of my life. I want, I'm going to schools and colleges talking about dreaming, talking about going there and doing it. And I'm talking about traditions, Vishal, which I've talked to you about. Uh, how important it is to have these traditions. Uh, embrace new embrace what's happening there but I keep on giving examples that many many years back we had paper we had a samosa and we had a day we decided that we have a plastic in America so let's have plastic so we had a paper and we had a plastic then we had a day we knew that this is not good for the and by the time it was too late we had yep. always correct tha, yaar, we had this leaves made of leaves jo, jo, se, no, Haan, it was almost chai, hum log, yeah. me, we always had the correct yaar. For believe nahi karte yaar. tradition hota na, usko ke rakta. so that is why I think it's so important as we raise our children and um, that is uh, my, my Bollywood movies are going on my last film which was Pink was also a very very um, how to put it uh, a very amazing experience Vishal for a simple thing that one of the people that I look up to in my always silently have has been Mr. Amitabh Bachchan and again one of those things that um, I was always hesitant to even if I've met him somewhere was selfie business somehow I odd like that and I just sometimes feel it's a social uh, menace so in my mental note I had made there'll be a time but we'll take a uh, picture together but but we will have a conversation and then that photograph will have a value only this I don't want to shoot an animal just for the sake of it I want to know it so it was an amazing thing one day post pink um, I got a call saying that um, the president of India that time uh, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee he wants to see the film so he's invited a bunch of us so Mr. Bachchan said this is a wonderful thing so we'll party so mm-hmm. how? So we chartered an aircraft. Okay. So all of us, uh, 10 of us, sat on the aircraft. He took us. Uh, he was a DJ on the flight. <laughs> uh, he was playing music. Mani, it's amazing to see Vishal, his enthusiasm at this age. And he was asking stuff, this, that. And I, I was looking at him and it's amazing. And then we reached Delhi and then we went to the Rashtrapati Bhavan and the whole experience. The, the, again, you realized the power of the craft that I am in uh, the movie if the intention is right Vishal it can do things which is unbelievable um, 10 conversations with somebody telling them that no means no mm-hmm. may not enter his head but one movie 
in which Amitabh Bachchan is saying no means no. Sat kare gusta andar. So that's when I realize the power of the medium that I am in. You know, uh, so I keep on going through this uh, uh, levels of uh, learning and unlearning, and um, I'm happy. So, so finally, did you take that selfie with Amitabh Bachchan? I did, uh, and not just uh, not just him, uh, four five of us, and. Um, uh, you know that that selfie moment was uh, actually a little little before the slide. One day at um, pretty late in the night, uh, he SMSed me that with a, if I was awake. And this was pre pink, and I said, "Yeah, I was." And he said, "If it's okay, if he can call." So I could, excuse <laughs> me, <laughs> even if I was dying, I would come and walk up and say hello. <laughs> so, um, so he was in the recording studio at one thirty two in the night. Wow! And so I went there. So we sat down. So the in, in the end of the pink film, there's a poem uh, which Mr. Bachchan recites, uh, and I had done some music behind it. So he was toying with it, and I was saying the enthusiasm of this person. When I Shantanu Mitra is a, a true bong cynic. Every five seconds, I'm saying, "Okay, are you near? I'm going." And look at this man, man. One he's at it. He's, night, yeah. he's at it. That that love for that craft, the love for thing. Does not matter hit flop whatever. This is how it is. So much to learn, Vishal. So much to learn from from people like him. And I'm fortunate uh, that uh, I've never learned music. I've never learned films. I've uh, but the textbooks, the live textbooks, which have uh, experienced my. But that's what, that's exactly what sort of music is something, and you know, art in general comes from within, right? I mean, it is you have to just discover it within you rather than learning anything. Yeah, so which I is why I think really, and I, I, I'm I'm one of the minorities who feel that that yes, I believe that at, a, at an early age, coaching is important, but sometimes we we kill kill a passion uh, by getting into this coaching business. I just feel that sometimes. Let the child discover it in the own way. Self discovery, right? I yeah. mean, discovery yeah. is is really the thing. In fact, I had recently met this guy from Pakistan mm. who learned to play. I don't know some seventy musical instruments by YouTube. Amazing. Yeah. So he yeah, had yeah. no training yeah. of yeah. any kind. He used to see YouTube videos. I'm forgetting his name, and he can play. And now he's doing concerts. He performed at TED, and that's what he does. You know. Wow. So if I re- recollect his name I'll tell you but that's exactly what is happening you know YouTube is now becoming the new place to discover one more inspiration which I quickly must add is that um, a few years back uh, when I had met you and you were clearly on uh, quite obese <laughs> but yeah. you had said that you'd just run the marathon and it just blew the myth out of my head that uh, being an obese person also you can run a marathon it's just the fitness that you feel inside and that prompted me uh, to look at running and those things and it's the tenacity and capacity that that you have and i've met you in some odd places i've met <laughs> you at flights coming back from brazil because you're doing thing i i got to know from a common friend that you went to everest base camp that's awesome that's wonderful you're also yeah. going to places which is outside your comfort it's all in the level. mind right it's all yeah. in the mind and you know when you set your goals to impossible things that's when things happen you know easy everybody does and you know nobody matters that, so that's wonderful So so one other thing I you know in your entire journey you know if I'm trying to put together the, the dots somehow you always end up in these scenarios where you end up meeting all these people mm-hmm. how does that happen what, do you you know what is really causing that because not once or twice i mean in your case it's like happening every week the um this gulzar says beautifully gulzar exactly had the same observation but gulzar says that i have this antenna which is kind of a little more powerful than normal and i kind of every now and then i kind of kind of stick it up and that's how i attract i'm not attracted to success i'm attracted to effort i'm attracted to talent i'm attracted to endeavors and more the off beat the more i am kind of glued on um because i've been through that phase where if i was not off beat if and you don't you, you don't think yourself as off beat and off beat it doesn't work like that you believe in yourself ki boss if i'm going to shubham gul's house and if i want to present all my life i have sang songs playing tables and steel plates at that moment suddenly if i become proper yeah. and sit on a harmonium i've lost it yeah you have to be yourself you can't fake it that clarity you can't fake it which all was a god's gift to me and i always look at people who in these scenarios stick out because that's original they're trying to be themselves you may like it you may dislike it but you cannot deny the fact that that is original 
and i have understood one thing vishal in this in this gift of life that we have got and think of the probability you know your a you're born on earth b your sense your systems are working fine by god's grace b you're not in a situation where you don't know where your tomorrow's meal is going to come from after all that is there if you're not being original it's a bloody waste yeah you can't live somebody else's dream or keep copying somebody else all the time and that's you know that's the exact example i give to people when it comes to internet companies you know everybody's trying to copy amazon everybody's trying to copy uber Correct. but you can't beat amazon you can't beat uber you know they are the guys who have created this so Correct. unless you are trying to be creating your own unique proposition you are never going to win and i think that's really is true for music that's true Absolutely. for everything because mm-hmm. there is this entire new trend you know youtube has changed the world of music i mean you know that more than anybody else yeah. so how are you now seeing this and what is if there is a you know young guy sitting somewhere listening to this what is your advice to them <coughs> what do they do in this youtube generation where everybody can upload their songs and you know uh, uh despacito is the new hit by justin bieber who has not even sung that song right i mean so um this is what i told you in the beginning of the conversation that i was having with you that uh, technology is wonderful but l- let not technology rule you learn how to rule the technology uh when i was sitting with my demo tape of okay saban outside so many recording labels i wish there was a youtube but i didn't have to go to all these people but if there was no virgin records who believed in me and pushed me a youtube doesn't believe in you it's a platform wo wapas nahi bolta he doesn't go on the screen and hug you he said hey brother i know you can do it they don't talk that language that language also vishal is very important so yes use technology be there and it, this technology is unbelievable what it does is is that I have recorded sitting in India where I've done a flamenco section from Spain I have done a cello section from Russia and I've done a vocal from Namibia sitting all in sitting India. in Bombay I can do that but I also would like to go to Namibia some day and hear their musicians both have to work it's a yin and yang suddenly technology aa gaya main kamre se bahar nikal raha hu i'll become a robot for some time because what is art art is interaction i look at your eyes i look at your pupils i look at your body language i look at your head nodding that's all part of it technology at the moment has not reached its phase silence itself is a language so it's best of both but ultimately as a, as an artist you have to be out there you have to be with the people you ca- A lot of people I know use art as a tool not to interact with people. Some people are not good, which is okay. But somewhere or the other in life, you will have to find your space and the real space, not the virtual space, where you have to go to Banaras maybe, and at nine thirty and ten in the night, just sit down and hear that arti. No YouTube channel in the world. can substitute that feeling as an artist what you will get at that moment which will trigger off 100 ideas in your head and then you are able to do them so both are important but but coming back to this whole youtube so today's generation you know my kids and i know your okay. son is what 14 no he is he is uh, 19 19 sorry yeah so this generation looks at the world in a very different way yeah. Yeah. you know for my kids it's all they, they they just keep only talking about youtube stars and what is happening mm. so how does one connect them to music because i've seen they just not connecting to the bollywood music of today the um, uh, uh, the question is that um, there you play a very important role you as a parents um, my my father's salary was such that uh, i would never have been able to board a flight if that was the money yet every saturday my father would cook and in the night he would make a slide show slide show of some of the most incredible places in the world which is not gone he just collected the slides and he would tell a story 
half an hour of flights some exotic beautiful world somewhere in the sahara somewhere in the midwest somewhere in in patagonia it just triggered your imagination as a child sitting here hearing stories and seeing these visuals he made that effort he didn't rationalize think he had what's the point doing all this because i i my money will not as i told you equations don't have to mean what is our job youtube ho kuch bhi ho vichar point is that your job and you're such a good communication person make an interesting 2 minute amalgamation of music that you want your child to hear make a package make a presenter if you can't impress your kid to bhul ja to baki bakam bhi ho karne wala hai yeah fir that test is there but it's not one off and make a event about it make a thing bake a cake but that's how you present art all over historically art has been presented like this so today i had to wake up at 6:30 to play fifa with my kids so we are on this we are Perfect. competing Perfect. on the xbox Perfect. so that's Perfect. what's Whatever. happening yeah but then it's a trade off when if you're doing that then also i would want you to uh, maybe once a month uh, just take him to a, a indian classical concert and say that you know what i play fifa even when i'm very sleepy but it's because i want to spend time with you and i i eventually enjoy it you may immediately not like what's happening but eventually you like it's that trust you do something but i want that something from you also and trust me vishal those are the things that you'll remember and he'll remember in his life those moments that you've shared so so when it comes to music why is it still not as mainstream for you know anybody right even even now after all the success people have seen somehow music is considered okay you know it is not something which people kids parents anybody want their kids to pursue so actively uh, uncertainty i guess because they themselves are not have not been part of it so you wonder chance pe dance situation <laughs> um but i i think it's um, also changing a lot for sure i've i traveled a lot i've seen small towns your change is best understood from small towns agar wahan tak pahunch chuki hai baat matlab change ho raha hai and um, concerts small concerts not not those big ones they have become an amazing avenue for earning a livelihood uh, people who could not afford a television i've seen especially this friends through reality show kids uh, many from, from very poor families uh regional places television throws them up as stars the faces are recognizable kuch nahi zyada nahi 40 50 thousand bucks for a show give away the musicians and everything in a worst case scenario tab bhi 10 15 hazar rupaya khat mein aate vishal that's a hell Lots of a lot in a small city and now i'm talking about one concert at least panch che hote you do the mathematics yeah. so people are realizing parents are realizing that no this is this is something good something good. and what is great they're doing that sitting in their own territory bombay at yeah, ake koi to. falls angrezi seekh ke i'm not trying to get a job yeah what i'm doing what i can do the best so th- that india is changing a lot and i think it's fantastic so what does one do to experience all these things right there are not you know maybe bombay delhi mein ye sab hota hai but if you are an average person what can you do to contribute use internet and type music festivals and what i used to type is music festivals around maharashtra around bengal around delhi use the word around don't say delhi and you will see it's how it opens up and throws you things you didn't even exist and which i must tell you they are very well organized they're very well organized they're very beautiful small and lovely locations mm-hmm. because they are small there is no state government authority saying beautiful sand dune festival the rajasthan mein kya yeah. kamal kamal ka festival yeah. ho raha hai in jaipur northeast Jaisalmer. amazing festival is happening yeah. so it's there the, the, so i have to go to northeast everybody think it's about shillong and the music there right? yeah, what yeah, is yeah, there yeah, in yeah, the yeah. water everybody plays a guitar yeah, there that, that's the gospel is pretty much and not just shillong the, all the seven sisters i have extensively traveled in northeast um manipur apart because that's not in a very um secure place at the moment but all the rest is it's a beautiful place green like you've never seen uh blue like you've never seen music average person knows how to play the bit, guitar the 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 piano they sing in choral they sing together 
um, it's a tribal uh, world mm-hmm. and tribes are all about people it's not about solo so they have harmonies they have this thing so th- it's a new stuff it's a new th- sound um, I, I've done a lot of homestay there which makes it very very wonderful and uh, it's, a, it's a fascinating world out there so you have travelled to so many places in the <coughs> world right so what are the place, five places you would want everybody to go once in their life hmm, good question um, uh, once you must see Mount Everest from the Tibet side. Well, China should allow that. I, I did just did that. Oh, you just did. Yeah, yeah. So, you so the thing is, yeah, you just need seven and more people, and rest is doable. It, it, the, the, the and you can literally drive to the base camp from there. The difficulty of that is a myth. So it's not so difficult. So that is one. Uh, second, I would say is um, North Sikkim, a place called Guru Dungmar Lake. Oh Lord Sikkim. Yeah. It's the name of the lake is Guru Dungmar Lake. 17,000 feet. Oh my God. So you trek all the way up? No. You, you can, can drive. Uh, you, you can drive. And, um, and you have to walk, trek for a kilometer. That's it. But it's fascinating. Uh, third uh, place which I really recommend and I, I loved it um, was... Uh, Bhutan for me. We we had a plan to go there this year, okay. but we couldn't. But yeah. next year yeah. is Bhutan clearly on my list. Yes. And there is this trek called the Snowman's Trek over there, which yeah. which my yeah. wife and I want to do. And uh, it's have you done the Snowman's? Trek? No, no, no. But I I know the place. I know a lot of people who've done that. Yeah. I was I had gone there more for birding. To, Bhutan is one of the great places for birding. Um, I definitely would recommend a place called Kamchatka Peninsula. In Russia, Kamchatka you, Peninsula. Yeah. Where is that? I've never even this, this is this is USSR. Um, Where in Russia? Uh, so this is uh, East Siberia. Siberia. And um, but, ham ham kuch lagta hai Siberia ham kuch lagta hai nahi. There's some green patches. <laughs> but more importantly, this is the place uh, for brown bears. Amazing place, and uh, there is there is one another place which. Uh, one must go that is um, it's in Argentina Patagonia Patagonia of course so I don't know why it's a combination of people food place so, by the way I'm in going to Mexico next month so let's see I'm in Mexico City for three days not going anywhere just in wonderful the, in, uh, so anything it's, around Mexico City I'm not aware <laughs> So amazing these uh, And you know When it comes to folk music We've all heard of Rajasthani And Hindustani mm-hmm. And all of that mm-hmm. So any five pieces of music You want us to go and hear On YouTube or wherever Which so kind I'll, of I'll, Gives us the variety Because nobody knows mm-hmm. What folk music Or traditional music so, is So um, I'll tell you five regions uh, That you can type on YouTube um, So one is um, Definitely Rajasthan type Mand So you'll have Some great folk music From Mand, Mand. community Yeah then what you should do is uh, type Baul music in Bengal. Baul. B-A-U-L. Uh, so in Bengal, you will find that. Just type Kavali from Delhi. Kavali from Delhi? Is yeah. there something called yeah. Kavali from Delhi? When as in the place, the Delhi is now, but the... Okay, the... Nehavan, Aliyah, Mani, all that. So, abhi bhi unka dargah mein full chalta hai ratko. It's something you should go live also. Parante khao ratko. Karke baito dargah mein and hear the Kavali all night long. Wow. It's amazing stuff. Then you should listen to folk music from uh, Himachal. Beautiful folk music. What's it called? Himachali folk. Okay. Yeah. They're all region-wise. Otherwise, those names are very difficult for YouTube to get into search. They'll open it up. And last, what you can do is you can listen to uh, folk music from uh, Nagaland. Nagaland. Wow. So, Nagaland is warrior tribe, so you'll have a lot of percussion. So, larger than life, almost like a beating the chest kind of music. So, so, you'll see so what are your other hobbies apart from music? I mean, and we know football is another passion I, of yours. I love cooking. Uh, that happens automatically when you travel. because yeah. So, cooking and another very serious hobby of mine is astronomy. Uh, wow. Contrary to a lot of people thinking that's astrology. Astrology is not my hobby. Astronomy is. 
So, so there is a Bhugol club. Do you know about this? Yes, yes I'm so my my I have not been. My wife and kids have been. They went to. They go to all these places. Yes, Zimita showers and all this. Yeah, and all of that. There was just a last week. There was some Your wife and children are <laughs> more evolved currently <laughs> than you are. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> They're like where, so they went to see all these eclipses and all correct, these things correct. happening. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So there's actually so even I didn't know there's a Facebook group called yeah, Bhugol yeah, Mandal. Yeah, yeah. And they do like serious things. Maharashtra is very active. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. Active. Even I was surprised that you know they were doing all of this. So you've been to any of these stargazing events? I have on my own, but not with the group. Yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> you yeah. should go with them. These guys are like completely serious. lovely. So, what are the pieces of technology you own and use every day? Anything which is under ten thousand rupees? Okay, very difficult. Uh, so pretty much, uh, I have a. My life is pretty sorted. Some of the places I go, there's no. And there's no technology. <laughs> no technology. <laughs> so, but usually, see, uh, uh, under ten thousand would be difficult because my phone is above ten thousand bucks, which does most of the stuff. Okay. Okay. Which which phone do you? Have? Your iPhone. iPhone. So, okay. uh, so it does most of the stuff. So whether it's music and running and everything, it does that. Um, but I did invest in something very interesting, which is interesting cooking oil. Uh, cooking oil. Yeah. So, I've used this in in Ladakh, early morning. The shadow side of the car is two degrees Celsius, and the sun side of the car is thirty-six degrees Celsius. Wow! Okay, yeah, Ladakh because of the okay. Now, so what I've done is this oil. It's a cleanser, and also has got a very low heating point. Hmm. It's a cooking oil. So what you do is, uh, for example, I've done. It's a survival stuff. You put it on the bonnet of the car. It sizzles, and you can break an egg, make an omelette on top of it. Ooh, but only in Ladakh, right? Anywhere it's hot. Anywhere, anywhere it's hot. And India is a fascinating place. So wow. when you're traveling in the morning, agwa kaun jale kar loga? Bonnet mein fatak. But you can you can do this. And well, let's we should try this, man. In Bombay, you can cook it. Before, <coughs> yeah, yeah. If I hope if people come to know everywhere, they'll start making fried eggs. <coughs> so what is this oil called? Low oil. It's called a. Uh, low oil, L O O I L. Low uh, oil, yeah. So because of low heating, yeah, oil. whatever. And um, it's a spray, Psst, you know, on the on the bonnet. And it's fascinating. So that's one thing. So I, I like so that's like small. a life hack. That's yeah. literally. So you must be having a lot so of a lot hacks. of life hacks. That's yeah. what I was saying. That I don't more of technology, but I love. But I, then I have um, very specialized. Um, now, not required so much, but there was a time when there was not tubeless tires and we were traveling long distance. So I had very uh, specialized, um, not specialized balloon, <laughs> well rounded mustard seeds. So the deal is that before we started off for long, so for example, I have to cross this region. I know there's no petrol pumps, 170, 75 kilometers through the forest. Mm. So I just injected that mustard seed into the tire. Inject mustard yeah. seeds. So the deal is that if there's a pun- puncture, when the air rushes out, the mustard seed rushes out and blocks the. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. that's was taught to me by a, a trucker. Wow. And then. Um, didn't ever um, I've never heard of this yeah, act this is, this is crazy But I've since uh, and, and, and Time is running out But I'll tell you one amazing hack That India is a fascinating place Vishal uh, Hack is part of the life Hamari liye hack hai Unke liye nahi hai To Kerala ke paas I'm crossing a uh, I'm, This is level crossing But there's no level crossing There's no danda nothing It's just a empty patch And it's a little scary so you so you get down and i'm hearing a sound sound is like this din so you stop and you say so there's a guy there and asking what's happening so what they have done is they have taken coconut shells half mm-hmm. cut them scrape them according to one will be completely clean ek mein thoda sa coconut hoga these coconut are tied to the railway track and that uh, danda that that uh, oh so when the, the track opens no then when the so they're the tied there on the thing so when the train is coming a kilometer yeah. off yeah the vibration starts creating this sound <laughs> yeah. using sound as a the level crossing with there's no level crossing out there this is india vishal it's fascinating amazing nowhere in the world can you find this amazing this is like crazy and this even is there now or? yeah yeah, yeah. Well, this small, small town India. So, so if you were made the whatever arts and cultural minister of India, what will you do? What will you change? I would um, definitely make first and foremost um, classical art form, uh, be it painting, be it music, 
as a compulsory subject in schools uh, right it has to start at the school level when the kids are small because they don't know what's good and bad um, so 90% of the job will become easier and it's very simple mishal if a nation's ideology can be changed one one man called adolf hitler can just change the way it is can you imagine the power that we can unveil amongst our nation at that level with good things you know and uh, once that happens the ability to appreciate what is good what is not good what is interesting not interesting what is creative not creative automatically starts solving it's too late for a 25 year old guy to suddenly say ki yaar chalte hain aaj sham ko yahan pe there's a classical music concert he 25 saal tak suna nahi usne yaar the guy who's not eaten non veg for 25 years suddenly one day you're saying i will make you eat butter chicken and the argument doesn't stop here stops here that he eats the butter chicken says that i don't like it and you make a policy saying that chicken should be banned <laughs> it's not a fair deal yeah so let our our education system needs to be tweaked up it is too too result oriented at the moment and this entire conversation that you had with me last one and a half hours was primarily that whatever i did i did not know the result i didn't care for the result i did it because that is the only thing which would have given me the joy and happiness and i think that is the most important thing no as it is said bavara man i think it's your bavara man which has taken you everywhere and all best wishes for you i'm sure you're going to go further places and going to do much bigger things and i'm going to hopefully try and get you back on the show i think it was an absolute pleasure shantanu i mean i don't have words to convey the in the last one and a half two hours i have learned so much thank you vishal for coming and i think i hope uh, people can take some inspiration out of you and follow their passion to to excel yeah. thanks a lot vishal thank, thank you thanks for coming और आपको क्या चाहिए हम आप जाओ आई एम पॉडकास्ट डॉट कॉम पे और सुनो ये सब या फिर डाउनलोड करो उनका एप सब आपकी उंगलियों पर